The movie begins with a 15-year-old girl named Priscilla, who is busy applying makeup, carefully placing false eyelashes on her eyes. Later, we see her sitting alone in a cafe when a gentleman approaches her. He introduces himself as Terry, and they strike up a conversation. Priscilla shares that she's from Texas and that her family moved to Germany in August because of her father's job. Terry asks her how she's finding life in Germany and then brings up the topic of Elvis Presley. When Priscilla confirms that she knows about him, the story unfolds further. After Terry's invitation to Elvis, party, Priscilla eagerly seeks permission from her parents. However, they initially decline, concerned about their daughter attending such an event. Determined to make it happen, Terry approaches Priscilla's father the next day at the same cafe. He assures him that he and his wife will ensure Priscilla's safety at the party. Relieved, Priscilla's mother helps her get ready, excited that her daughter will finally be attending a social event in Germany, especially since Priscilla hasn't made any friends yet. Accompanied by Terry and his wife, Priscilla arrives at the party venue. Terry introduces her to Elvis, and they strike up a conversation. Despite being nervous at first, Priscilla feels a sense of excitement and anticipation. As Elvis plays the piano, he steals glances at Priscilla, leaving her feeling both thrilled and flustered. The next day at school, Priscilla finds herself blushing and unable to focus in class, still caught up in the events of the previous evening. After school, she receives a call from Terry, who reveals that Elvis wants her to attend his party on Friday. At the party, Priscilla is introduced to everyone by Elvis himself, and they engage in conversations about music, their likes, and dislikes. Elvis confides in Priscilla, expressing his fondness for their conversations. In his room, Priscilla notices numerous letters from fans, showcasing Elvis' popularity. As they talk, Elvis opens up about his late mother, sharing his feelings of loss and longing. Moved by his vulnerability, Priscilla and Elvis share a kiss. Following this, Priscilla begins spending more time with Elvis, much to her parents' concern. They worry about her late nights and constant outings with him. However, Priscilla defends her choices, insisting that Elvis will only be in Germany for a short while before returning to Memphis, United States. She urges her parents not to interfere with her life and emphasizes her commitment to Elvis during his stay. The next day, Terry and Elvis visit Priscilla's house, where her father questions Elvis about his intentions. Elvis admits that he enjoys spending time with Priscilla and looks forward to returning to Graceland in Memphis. Seeking permission to go out with Priscilla, they go to watch a movie where Elvis impresses her with his ability to recall dialogue. He opens up about his dreams and gives her a pill to help her stay awake and focused in class. Their bond deepens as they share a kiss, and Priscilla finds herself falling deeply in love with him. The following day, Elvis gifts her a watch, and Priscilla expresses her wish to accompany him, fearing he might forget her. However, Elvis reassures her and promises to stay in touch. In a heartfelt moment, he gives her his jacket and pledges to return for her before bidding her farewell and leaving. In school, Priscilla finds herself constantly distracted, unable to shake thoughts of Elvis and their time together. Upon reading about his affairs in a newspaper, she becomes upset and depressed. Despite the passage of a year and a half, she still holds onto his jacket, a symbol of their connection. Learning that he never responded to her letters, she remains steadfast in her love for him, despite her mother's suggestion to move on and consider other options. However, when Elvis unexpectedly calls her one day, Priscilla pours out her heart, expressing how much she misses him. She questions him about his relationship with Nancy, to which he reassures her that it's purely platonic and reveals he's made arrangements for her to visit him in Memphis. Reluctantly, Priscilla agrees, and soon finds herself in Elvis' hometown, meeting his grandmother and attending a party where she becomes the subject of gossip among other girls. Later that night, Elvis visits Priscilla in her room, where they share a kiss, but he insists they wait for the right time for anything more intimate. He gives her a sleeping pill to help her rest, but she wakes up two days later, realizing she slept longer than intended due to the strong medication. Despite this, they continue to spend time together, enjoying a trip to Vegas and creating lasting memories. As her trip comes to an end and Priscilla returns home, she faces scrutiny and gossip from her peers at school. At home, her mother expresses concern about her relationship with Elvis, citing their significant age difference. However, 
Priscilla remains firm in her love for him, unwilling to consider other options despite her mother's advice. In the next scene, we witness Priscilla's father engaged in a phone conversation with Elvis, attempting to convince him to allow Priscilla to live with him. Elvis assures him that she will enroll in a good Catholic school and promises that his family will take care of her. Priscilla overhears the conversation, feeling a mix of emotions. Later that night, she hears her father successfully convincing her mother, although she can tell her mother is not entirely pleased with the decision. In the following scene, Priscilla moves into Elvis' house, feeling a sense of loneliness despite the excitement of her new surroundings. She meets Patsy and Becky, who work in the office, and they inform her about a gift Elvis left for her in the backyard. When she goes to investigate, she discovers a dog waiting for her. The next day, as she attends school, Priscilla finds herself the center of attention due to her relationship with Elvis, with everyone eager to know more about her. While playing with her new dog, Patsy advises her to avoid public displays of affection. Feeling lonely and bored at home, Priscilla asks Elvis for a part-time job, but he declines. However, they continue to share details about their days, with Elvis reassuring her of his imminent return. After Elvis returns home, they share dinner with his friends and family. Priscilla tries to blend in but feels disconnected and alone. Despite an argument later that night, they reconcile with a tender moment. The next day, they go shopping with Elvis's friends, and he suggests a new look for Priscilla, which she embraces eagerly, feeling transformed. In the subsequent scene, Elvis gifts her a gun and teaches her how to use it, marking a shift in their relationship dynamics. Priscilla then finds herself in the principal's office, where she's reminded of the importance of maintaining good grades for graduation. Concerned about her academic future, her parents call to check in, but Priscilla reassures them that everything is under control and expresses her longing for them. To stay focused in school, she starts taking pills and becomes more dedicated to her studies. On her graduation day, Elvis surprises her with a red car as a gift, and they attend the ceremony together, symbolizing a significant milestone in their relationship. After enjoying their time together, they engage in a playful pillow fight, but Elvis accidentally hits Priscilla too hard in the heat of the moment. He immediately apologizes for his actions. However, their bliss is short-lived as Elvis soon departs for Hollywood. Meanwhile, Priscilla reads an article about Elvis and Anne Margaret, which sparks feelings of jealousy and insecurity. In a subsequent scene, Elvis informs Priscilla over the phone that he won't be able to return home due to work commitments. Feeling lonely and neglected, Priscilla decides to surprise him by visiting his friend's place in Hollywood, where he's staying. However, their reunion takes a sour turn as they argue about Elvis's alleged affairs with Anne Margaret. Disheartened, Priscilla decides to return to Memphis. Alone in her spacious house with only her dog for company, Priscilla grapples with her emotions. Eventually, Elvis visits her and apologizes for their argument. Despite his efforts to reconcile, Priscilla discovers a love letter, raising questions about the sincerity of their relationship. Priscilla confronts Elvis, seeking answers about their relationship, but his response is unexpectedly aggressive. He threatens to send her away and angrily tosses her clothes around, compelling her to pack her bags. Overwhelmed and frightened, Priscilla breaks down in tears, prompting Elvis to apologize for his outburst. In the following scene, Elvis and his colleague discuss songs, with Elvis expressing frustration over the lack of quality tracks. When he asks for Priscilla's opinion, she suggests that the songs lack catchiness. In a fit of rage, Elvis hurls a chair in her direction, revealing his volatile temper. He quickly apologizes for his actions, and despite Priscilla's fear, she forgives him. In the next scene, Elvis is seen reading the Bible to his fans, but he flirts with other women in Priscilla's presence, causing her to leave. Later, she expresses her intention to return to Germany, but Elvis persuades her to stay. That night, they consume a substance together. Eventually, Elvis proposes marriage to Priscilla, and they tie the knot shortly afterward. Soon, Priscilla discovers she is pregnant, and she gives birth to a beautiful daughter. Over the years, Priscilla begins to yearn for independence and pursues activities like learning karate while focusing on her daughter. As Elvis's fame grows with concerts and performances, Priscilla feels increasingly confined in their marriage. One day, she decides to leave, seeking a divorce for herself and her daughter. 
In the movie's closing scenes, Priscilla leaves the house, driving away in her car, symbolizing her newfound freedom.